Okay, there we go. Hello, everybody. I had to go get my drink. I'm uh, drinking a little not your father's root beer. So, if your father think I took his root beer, you're wrong. Because this is not your father's. Uh, konnichiwa. Uh, nande yonen? Uh, I don't know, this game looks super cute, Keffy. Look at it, it's got super cute anime girls. Also, Keffy, I don't know the last time I hit you with one of these, but... <clears throat> give me... <clears throat> give, me give me one second here. <clears throat> Seems good. How are you, Keffy? And Billy Rags, how are you tonight? Billy Rags, the art contributor to the stream, she, she, known famously for the the Doctor Taco logo and uh, the 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 where the hell is it? There it is. And the and the Doctor Taco one heart. And the Mona Lisa. Oh shit, and Park Jimin Park Jiminoff? <laughs> That's all I see too is Park Jiminoff. But Park Jimin of BTS all up in here. I didn't know that you did the Mona Lisa, so I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Uh, listen, I, I know that uh, Doki Doki Literature Club is uh, supposed to have some um, some uh, some questionable some questionable antics in it uh but uh that that's that is what it is uh i i need to have i still haven't done anything yet and uh billy rags is my 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 art person so i reach out to them whenever i need something already done because they're far more talented with it than i am uh, and now that I'm actually getting into a regular routine of streaming on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, and possibly Mondays, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Um, I can finally start hammering out what I actually want to have as, like, stream setting sources. Scenes. Scenes. They're called scenes. Um, for OBS. So I can start looking like a more professional streamer and shit. Um, but yeah, that's what I mean. Let's set the scene. Bruno, how are you? Keffy, how are you? Park Jimin of BTS. Thank you for taking time out of your, your busy schedule to be here to stream again. Uh, uh. Excuse me. Um, but yeah, tonight, tonight we're going to be we're going to be playing some Doki Doki Literature Club because I still didn't get the, the Wii and GameCube emulators going because I'm stupid. Um, I swear to God I'm going to get them going eventually and, and we'll play some of those games. I really don't have that many. Uh, so it's like, eh. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Park Jimin. Uh, not bad. Today's a pretty good day. I did a lot of relaxing. I did most of my chores in the middle of the week, so that was kind of nice. Um... I set up a Mercari. I just got to get stuff on it because I'm going to sell some of my older games and shit because I was going through I was going through my game collection and looking at stuff that's basically just like gathering dust on my shelves. And I have some games that are like worth like 80 to 100 dollars. And I'm like, well, I could either continue to use as beautiful dust gatherers or I can try to sell you and maybe cut into some of this, uh, this, this, this money that I need for this plumbing situation. So I'm going to work on that tomorrow, getting some pictures, getting some stuff set up. Am I selling Dust Gatherer 3 for the SNES? Unfortunately, no. My Super Nintendo catalog is very small. Um, in fact, I'm going to go, I'm going to go tell you what I have on Super Nintendo, right? Oh my God, my pants. I just ripped my pants, but not like you'd think. I just ripped the bottom of my pants, like the legging. 
it was stuck under my chair and it just went <clears throat> Have you thought more about the stream ideas? Um, I'm starting to. More or less what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out when I need to do it. Um, because I really need to do it before we actually have the work done because most places don't really give you a bill and then say, okay, pay us when you want. They go, okay, this is how much it costs today. Now give me money. So I want to make sure that uh, I have money to give them. On Super Nintendo, I gotta turn on my light. Yeah, this, this is the entirety of my collection now. Maybe I have one more game or two. Because I might have another game with my actual Super Nintendo. Um, but I have SimCity, Caesar's Palace, and Samurai Showdown. I think, I think I still have Mario Kart. I want to say it's wherever my Super Nintendo is, but I don't, I don't, it's in a box somewhere. I don't know where it is at the moment. Uh, tell us what you're selling. Uh, Bruno, you kind of already know. Um, but I am selling, uh, the first in the, in the, uh, light novel series, uh, Kuma 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 Bear, um, because when I started reading it and I saw it wasn't a, a manga, I was like, oh, I don't really, I read the first chapter and then I set it down and I was like, well, I'm not going to finish reading this. So it's been gathering dust. I'm definitely selling Incredible Crisis. Incredible Crisis for the PlayStation 1. Uh, Chrono Trigger for the DS. Um, Pokemon Conquest for the DS. And then Fantasy Life and Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology for the 3DS. Uh, those ones I'm 100% selling. Um, most likely also going to be selling Pokemon Sapphire, uh, Castlevania Double Pack, Gunstar Superheroes, and then I'm not 100% sold on whether I'm selling, um, those are all for the Game Boy Advance. I'm not sure if I'm selling uh, Circle of the Moon, Mario Advance 2, I think it is, Mario Advance 2 or 3, yeah, Super Mario Advance 2, Golden Sun, and Final Fantasy Tactics uh, Advance, I believe it is. So those are ones that I'm on the fence because they still fetch a pretty good price just for the carts. Uh, but I will be putting those up on Mercari. Uh, I don't even know if that's a thing. And I came up, I came up with like a cute, a cute thing. Mer Mercar Mercari, Doctor Taco sells out. I don't even know. I don't know if they have like a uh, <laughs> Mercari fake sellers, guys. Don't fall for Mercari fake sellers, okay? They're untrustworthy. Um, let me try this again. Two results. Well, I guess I'll have to look up my thing at some point. Um, or I can just log in. Ho, ho, ho. I'm going to log in real quick. If they tell you you're a fake seller and, and they are, then they're very honest people. You know what? That's kind of a good way of looking at it. I never really thought of it that way. If you, if you are a fake seller and you admit you're a fake seller, does that make you a good seller? Or did I just blow your mind? Copy link. That's dumb. What? Like, I don't understand why you wouldn't be able to search um, users. New sign into your account. It sure was. I signed in, but that's my, that's my, that's my thing. I currently have no reviews. Uh, I apparently need to add my, um, driver's license. Ooh, my private collection. 
but I couldn't I couldn't help it like I thought I thought you know calling it Dr. Taco sells out would be a, a cute a cute name for it so what's a good way to find me what do you mean Bruno what do you mean that's a good way to find you listen Billy Billy we need to work on a stream starting just chatting screen. That's what we need. Put Dr. Taco on your descriptions. True. That is true. I could put that. <laughs> I can put every single listing as one of a kind Dr. Taco's incredible crisis complete in box. And they'll be like, oh my God, from Dr. Taco himself? Or they'll just be like, oh my god, this guy is selling Incredible Crisis for $10 cheaper than most other people. Because that's probably what's going to end up happening. I'm probably just going to undercut most of the regular prices that are on there. Just to see if I can push the shit out the door. Um, that's what I did for a lot of my older games that I sold on eBay a while ago. I, I put like... I put like the minimum bid as what I would be okay with selling it for. Like most of the time it got bid up anyways, but then I did put like um, a buy it now that was like $10 cheaper than most of the asking prices. So I hit quite a few people that were like, oh, you're selling it cheaper, I'll buy it. And then I had some asshole that was like, oh uh, yeah, I bought this from you and, and the case is scratched. Um, I didn't know the case was scratched. So I, I kind of like a refund and I'm like, bro, what, what are you talking about? Like, it's, it's just a jewel case. No, I only like all original packaging and I didn't notice that the original packaging had a, had a small um, marking on the case. I was like, well, the instruction book's there and the game's not scratched, right? And the back cover is good. Um, yeah, everything else is in perfect condition. I was like, I, I can I can send you a, a jewel case if you want. Like, if it's that big of a deal, I can send you a jewel case. Uh, no, it, it, it has to be a PlayStation jewel case, sir. You clearly don't understand. This is, this is an actual thing they said to me. And I'm like, motherfucker, those are just mass-produced fucking jewel cases. Are you this much of a fucking moron? But what I actually said was, I will gladly refund you $5 for the cost of the case. And he was like, I, I just found another seller that's going to sell me um, the case and the manual. Uh, so that, that seems fair. I'm like, I'm like, you're seriously buying another fucking jewel case that you can literally just... Uh, uh, PlayStation jewel cases are just fucking CD cases. You can just go over to your shelf, if you have CDs still, if you're old like me, and just replace it with one that's not scratched. But this motherfucker was like, I need a PlayStation 1. You don't understand. I have to have a PlayStation 1 so I can jerk off in a corner. It is literally the same, bro. It is literally the same, bro. So anyways, that's been my experience with uh, eBay buyers. I never have a problem when I buy stuff. Very, very rarely do I have a problem with, oh my God, I just lost four viewers because I was talking about jerking off in a corner to a jewel case. Oof, rip me. Um, <laughs> Dude, let's, let's, it's how it is. It's how it is sometimes. Um, people coming in to watch a game. Oh, that hurts. rip -a Uh, but thanks for coming in, Dark Shadow Light. Your name is a contradiction. An enigma, if you will. Um, but we're gonna, we're, we're gonna watch. <laughs> we're gonna start Doki Doki Literature Club now. Uh, so, so welcome in. Like I said, this looks like a wholesome game, right? It's full of high school romance and love. Enter my name. Uh, my name is is Taco. Uh. Excuse me. I want to put Taco Chan, but I have a feeling it might end up being like Taco Chan. 
Chan or Taco Chan Kun. So I'm just gonna put Taco. It's your favorite game? I've actually never played Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, hey! I've actually kind of, um... Okay, so let me ask you this, since it's your favorite game. Um, is there a difference between this and Doki Doki Literature Club Plus? Or is it like, or is there enough different content between the two of them that they actually feel like different games? Because um, that's part of the reason I've actually kind of been putting off playing it, because I've been wanting to get the plus one, but it's like never on because I'm, I'm cheap. It's never on sale enough where I want to pick it up. But Doki Doki Literature Club is free. Uh, the thing is, thing is, uh, same as this game, story mode. Thing is game, story mode is, okay. Good. Well then, I'm glad I never bothered wasting my money. Although, you know what? If I really like this game, maybe I'll still throw him a few bucks because uh, I like to support things that I like not ever downloading games for free from illicit websites. Not me. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making... Hold on. The kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school today. I swear to God I can read. This is this is not a good start for me today. We used to walk to school together on days like this. But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. And I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> I overslept again! But I caught you this time! Uh, maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Uh, in Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, there are annexes, stories, wallpapers, the soundtrack, and not so much more. Uh, you can activate advertisements. Wait, wait, can I get paid for playing their game? Because that's pretty pog. Eh? You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Taco. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Taco, have you decided on joining a club yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. Uh, oh, you can activate war. Oh, okay, I gotcha. I haven't been looking either. I like that you've accidentally used pretty much the same voice for Sayori that Danny Sexbang did. I mean, listen, I've got a voice, I think, like, four girls. So, I mean, I've, I've got to establish at least one sort of voice for one girl and then kind of work from there. Uh, thank you for the follow, Dark Shadow Light. Much appreciated. I was like, where is my OBS? OBS, come back to me. There we go. Just got to do like that. Give it a little, little, little shuffle around. Okay, that's what I thought. I, I was going on the assumption from uh, the uh, menu screen, like the starting menu screen. Eh? That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. No, it sounds just like me, but video game form. Uh-huh. 
I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn to socialize or have any skills before college. Yeah, that hasn't changed either. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're not and I know you're happy now. But I die at the thought of you becoming a need in a few years because you're not used to the real world. I think for a majority of my chat, it should be 8.49 p.m. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. You are in the past for me. It's 2.50 here. 2.50 in the AM! Hey, thanks for, thanks for the follow. Oh, wait. Or is it 2.50 in the... Wait. 2.50 AM, right? Yeah, okay. I was like, wait. I was like, 2.50 PM would even be weirder, in my opinion. Get some sleep. Are you one of those, are you one of those night people? After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wanted me to check out some clubs. But for me, it's 8.50 p.m. August 19th, 2043! That's impressive. I used to be a night people. I'm a night people kind of on the weekends. Um, it really just depends on what my friends are doing. Right, Keffy? If you're still out there somewhere? Oh, shit. Thank you for letting me know, Trial Ad Blocker Ultimate. Um, so far, uh, Ad Blocker Ultimate has blocked 55 ads and, um, tr Trackers blocked 210. So that's that's pretty good. I didn't I didn't know it was only partially free, so I'll be uninstalling it and finding a different one soon. Uh, I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Yes, my man. Hello, Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. You didn't get an ad since I got in the stream? Ooh. Fancy. Wait, is my ad blocker blocking ads for you guys? <gasps> I need that revenue. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Ah, uh, he might have, or she, I don't want to presume, uh, might have just gotten lucky because I think I have pre-rolls off. So, they should only be running, like, every once in a while now? Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Um, we had... Cheese raviolis with Alfredo sauce and urban garlic grilled chicken. It was a relatively healthy lunch, I th or dinner. I think the problem is that I had, um, I think it's more the pizza pockets that I had before that. Nothing like a little high processed food to give you a little bit of the gas, you know what I'm saying? Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Uh-oh, guys, I think I'm going to end up in the literature club. 
Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. It's a fight club? Nice. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please? Why do you care so much anyway? Well... But I prefer to prevent you, you will have to be very patient until... Things. Listen, if there's one thing I am, it's not patient. Close this game. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Listen, let's just say, let's just say that, uh, this is my first foray into visual novels. Also, is anybody else annoyed by the mouse cursor? Because it's annoying me. Uh, give me one second. Aha, it's gone now. I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I lit out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's -a go! Oh shit, she turned into Mario. What the fuck? And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Oh. Billy, you can... You can... You, you feel that, I bet. <laughs> Aloigi. That's it, thank you. I, I knew if anybody would understand it. Aloigi. Mario. I Actually, I, I don't really think I can do a Luigi voice. A Mario. He's a little... Uh, is that... Uh, unless I was... Unless I'm doing the fucking, um, <laughs> vine sauce one. Hey, Mario! I'm buying, buying crypto, Mario! I'm gonna buy some crypto. Luigi! Luigi, stop buying crypto! What, are you gonna buy virtual property next? <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. L let's just say, let's just say that uh, I have looked at random, like, voice actor things, uh, but apparently they still want education and shit. And I'm like, oh, why? Oh, why you need, why you need the education when I can just do the voice? I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classmates and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Is it supposed to be a French accent? I don't know. Most of my accents start as something and then evolve into something else. So I think that might be the problem. Like, unless unless I have, a, like, a really strong uh, accent that I can, like, really stick on top of. Like, a Mario, he's a pretty easy. You just do a, a little bit of the really offensive Italian, you know? And you just go, wahoo! You know, like, Mar Mario is pretty easy. Um, Luigi, like, I don't know Luigi's voice well enough to really be able to be like, I'm a Luigi. Like, it, it's, I know it's something like that, but I, I, I'm, I know I don't have it, like, verbatim. Luigi gonna win. Um, <laughs> does he even say that? Does he say that in any game? I feel like he maybe says that in one of the Mario parties. I don't know. And then... Uh, you know, off the top of my head, I can't think of any other, like... Oh, well, thank you. I know, I'm never gonna win. Oh, Wah! Mario! <laughs> and then, and then, and then, Daisy is pretty easy. Needles! Um, that's an inside joke for some people who get it. <laughs> he knows he's the number two Mario, bro. See? She got it. <laughs> You're not mine. Cooking Mama, another completely pointless voice that I can do. 
But that's neither here nor there. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. You still have your Cooking Mama DS game? I do not. Uh, I traded mine in. Cooking Mama 1 and 2. And I never played any of the, like, Baby Mama or whatever. I know it's not called Baby Mama. That would be a very different Mama-themed game. But she had, like, a babysitting game or something like that. Oh... Uh... Imagine having ads. Here, I'll wait. I'll wait a handful of more. Oh, baby Monami, you gotta get, get money every 1st and 15th! <laughs> Two ads in German. We only got 12 more seconds. So we'll, I'll wait till the ads are in progress or done, and then we'll get back to it. Four, three, two, one. I was gonna, I was going to another meme. I was going to say, Mamma Mia, Marcello. Monkey, upset monkey. What, what are you doing? That's the other thing you gotta do. When you do a Mario, you gotta add the, the uh sound just to random things. Um, I don't know what that is. <coughs> Pardon me. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Taco, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? I spoke in French. I don't even know why. Kiss, kiss, say. Fa, 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 far better. Run, 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 run away. Uh, that's probably about all the. Non de plume! There. A little more French for you. If you want to say something, say it! All three were very disappointed as they had something else in mind when Sayori said she was bringing taco. <laughs> Kiss it, kiss it, kiss it. Listen, the extent of my French uh, comes from uh, an episode of Yogi the Bear uh, and uh, the Talking Head song Psycho Killer. Kiss, kiss it. That's that's about it. That's about it. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe escargo. That's what you just said. You eatable taco. You just, are you flirting with me right now? Are you call me eatable? Is that is that what's going on? You, are you flirting? You, you calm down, Mr. Man. That's the weird thing about like French. Like if I were to like read that in English, like that's like quest 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 say quest. <laughs> like so like when I see it in English, I'm like I, I don't I don't know what that is, and then it's like oh that's what I just said. Oh pog, let's go. Sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. <coughs> God damn, this not your father's is making me burp up a storm. You don't say the you, it's ke 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 se ke 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 se fa 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 Getting me to the point where I want to listen to the song. I'm, I'm trying to play an anime game. Gosh dang it, it's just, you know what? It's coming out of both ends. Send help. Oh, I did it right once. Pog, let's go. Uh, W's in chat for the big win there. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turn back toward the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. 
And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Oh, Yuri, all right, I'm into this. T don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? Or Monica. That's right. It's great to see you again, Taco. Mo I'm going to say Monica, and I'm going to forget and call her Monica later. Monica smiles sweetly. So you know what is Yuri. I should... <laughs> You, you don't, you don't know my life story. You don't, you don't know things. Shh. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So, having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little. You too, Monica. Come sit down, Taco. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Arranged? Did I just try to make arranged into aroused? Oh, calm down. Get the watermelons ready. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monika and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ooh! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Kawaii! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki! Hehe, <laughs> well, you know! Just hurry and take one! It's like that if you search for Yuri images on Google, but you forget to put DDLC in the search. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Every, everybody, don't do that. Don't go to Google and type Yuri uh, uh, Bochi the Rock. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't, don't go to Google and type Yuri Love Live. Don't do that either. Don't do those things. Sayori grabs one first, then Monika. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. Don't do that except if you know. <laughs> Listen, I'll say this. Um, I just finished what I'm hoping is the first of many seasons of Bochi the Rock, and... Every, like, Instagram now, because I liked a couple of, like, posts that have Bochi in them, or Hidori-san-chan, Goto-Goto-chan, Goto-kun, um, whatever. Now it's just started giving me more random Bochi the Rock things, and a lot of it is just, like, shipping of the characters, and I'm just kind of like, I don't, I don't really like this. Like, I, I just kind of like that they're friends, unless, unless something happens more down the line, like, I just like that they're friends. Like, yeah, I know the one girl kind of has a crush on the other girl, but it's kind of weird that we're making them, like, have relationships. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Bro, my kid is 14 and he knows what year. 
that's the thing. The older we get, the more our kids know. It's weird. Just when you think the next generation is more pure than you, they're having miniature computers in our hands from the moment we're born may not be the best thing that's ever happened to our society. Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Eh? I thought you technically did. Sayori said. Well, maybe. But not for you, you, you baka. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw in the Japanese words I know, like a real weeaboo. Get ready, folks. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry. The teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? So I told him some websites for that I know. Like father, like son. <laughs> you... You, you corrupt the mind of a children. Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. And th th that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I'm, I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. It was already corrupted by Nami and Nico Robin. Yeah, yeah, that's, you know, you got a point there. I, I got, I think I got rid of most of, uh, hold on, we'll just, we'll just, yeah, we'll just, we'll just throw a few of those. Monika raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So. What made you consider the Literature Club? Um... I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monika that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monika, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Actually, the way I learned how Yuri is, I was trying to put a GIF on Discord. I searched Yuri and it was different than the Yuri I know. Uh, I mean... Being a man of culture, myself, um, I was watching the show uh, Yuru Yuri a while back, and it's a like super cute show about these little anime girls that are in a club together, and it's just like, oh, this is cute, I like this. So like, I searched for that, and and it just was like, oh, oh, this isn't what I was, this is not what I was anticipating when I searched for y y Yuru Yuri. And I was like, okay, well, now I know that, that... Well, technically, I had to decipher which word was giving me it. So I put Yuru and didn't get much. And then I put Yuri and it was like, ah. Okay, didn't know didn't know it had a, a name. Let's, let's go. Monika really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort into starting something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. 
You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Who do you like the most between the four girls? I mean, if I'm if I'm basing this solely on on what I, I've been visually presented with and what little uh, attitudes I have with everybody, um, I, I I think I have to go with with uh, I, I'm torn at the moment. I'm torn between Yuri and 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 Monica. Monica, um, Sayori's like okay, and what's the other one? Natsuki. Like I'll get their names eventually, and then I'll forget them by next week, and it'll be a whole thing. If you come back and, and watch more streams, you'll realize I forget things immediately because I'm a real pog champ. Um, but but I think if I had to just based on what everything that's happened thus far, um, Monica is probably the one right now. But like I said, things can change. You never know. <laughs> but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Taco, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, well... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, uh, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Also, she's like a Lord of the Rings fan. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up after she finds her comfort in the world of books. Not be not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Why do Yuri doesn't like mangas? It's supposed to be her domain. <laughs> She she likes uh she likes those ones that you have to search by number on uh Google. And they're not, you know, they're not like UPCs. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, oh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grab something I can relate to at the minimum level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't expect that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror! Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. That Monika voice makes me laugh. Hey, I'm doing my best over here. I don't I don't know I don't know the personalities of these girls, and since they don't give me any voice acting or anything, like I have to like just come up with something. So like Natsuki, she's the youngest, so that's why I try and go with like the little bit of the higher. Because it just it just makes sense. 
uh, Yuri is is the more they said more mature, so I try to put the more, you know, the little more mature sound into the voice with just that little little drip of you know the sensual, Ara-ra. you know, something like that. Um, and then we have an ad break when I'm trying to describe uh, what's going on. So for subscribers, how's everybody doing? How's everybody's Friday? You guys all wait. Shit, it's Saturday. This is what I'm talking about. I have no idea what's going on in my life. <laughs> no idea what's going on in my life. It's Saturday. It's Saturday. Anybody go out and celebrate by shooting their car with a bow and arrow? If you did, you're the real pog champ. But so far, Saturday has been kind to me. And uh, thank you, everybody, for hanging out during this time. Uh, we're going to be watching Robot Carnival tonight. It's a it's an anime from the 80s. It is a actual, like, series of short stories. They're not, like, all interconnected. Um, but that's what I like about Robot Carnival is that it, it's very it's very different from most anime that I watched. Um, and that's kind of why I wanted to share it. I, I, I skipped. I, I, tr I tried to hold the main conversation and just talk about something else so that's why i was just talking asking everybody how they were and stuff so i'm trying to like you know not go too hard when the ads are running so at least tonight it's kind of nice that the, the chat box is saying hey yo you got ads and i'm like all right pog we'll, we'll work on this in a second the ara ara has scared me so much that made me <laughs> listen here's the thing like i don't know if you've ever seen it but there's this clip of this um, uh, male actor from, or male actor, voice actor from Japan who's a dude. And apparently he does just like all kinds of voices. And they ask him to do like, like a baby. And he's like, and it's like, and they're like, oh, okay, well, that's impressive. You kind of sound like a baby. And then he's like, he's like, oh, and I can also do the voice of like, you know, a, a large breasted woman. And the, the one guy's like, what? Like, I, what? You're crazy. I don't believe you. And he's, and he's like, so he just gets real close to the guy. And he's like, he's like, Oni-chan, I knew this I'm back to the, you know, whatever. And he's like, Ara -ara. and then they like cut away. And the guy's like, is like, he's like, yep, yep. That sounds like a 42D. And like, it's just like, what the fuck? But it, it just, it, it makes me giggle. But yeah, I was just talking about where after we play uh, Doki Doki Literature Club for a while, uh, we're going to be watching Robot Carnival tonight. Because that's what Saturday anime is all about. Oni-chan, Ashiteru! Nanda? Oh, Oni-chan! Alright. Now Tuki's eye dart over to me for a split second. Oh. Yo. <laughs> PB and awesome, welcome in. And can I also say, dude, madly jealous of all of your food pictures and uh, getting to see Rift Tracks live. I just want to throw that out there. Welcome in. I'm I'm mad jealous of all of that stuff. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wh what? What gives you the idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. Why? Why would I? Why would I? Y you're welcome. You're welcome. It looks like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems... Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori saddles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not kawaii! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Oh, not a very confident rider yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of riding takes more than just confidence. 
Why do I care? Yuri. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aww, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monika. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. As if going to the live show wasn't enough, I still count Gopper and I got to hang out and drink with the guys afterward. And the star and the star of Rad, really? <laughs> they had they had the guy who was in Rad there. That's that's kind of um Rad. Ah uh, but um tis That's a thing. That's a thing. That's pretty cool. I know my friends went to a couple of those uh, Rift Tracks live things, and they had a lot of fun meeting them and talking to them afterwards. So that's pretty cool. I am I am P jealous. I'm not gonna lie. Isn't that right, Taco? Monica smiles warmly once again. Do you know what kind of game it is? I'm just telling that like, I'm just telling that like that. Um, I mean, I have an idea of what this game is. Um. Especially since uh, it, 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 it gives you trigger warnings and shit at the very start of the game. Like, I know at some point this game, uh, spoiler, this game takes a very weird dark turn at some point. Um, it kind of lures you in, which I think was like kind of the whole point of the game, was they made this super cute anime game, cute girls, all this shit, and then halfway through the game it's like, how you like dealing with this? And it's like, ah, oh, 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 all right. Well, that's a thing. Hold on. There's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. No, it's more what is going on. What? <laughs> but, but, I'm sorry, I thought. <laughs> Taco, you all, I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls? <sighs> right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for cupcakes, I'd be super pissed! Then, that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. If they were ugly, I might not have joined the club, but they, you know, Opai, Kawaii, Hentai, Yuri, da da da. Monica looks over at me once more. Taco, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. 
Can I really impress the class star Monica with a Can I impress her with my with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the excite Reading and me do not mix is what I'm learning in my life. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Taco, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the classroom and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monika. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Heavy foreshadowing. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Do I get to write an actual poem? <gasps> yes! It's time to write a poem! Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Uh... Where's Monica? Rain cloud, cute, tragedy, games, jumpy, papa, defeat, agonizing, party, clouds. Roses are red, violence are blue. I liked big titty anime girls and you. You know what? That was a beautiful poem. I wish there was a way for me to pin that message. Oh, there is. I can pin it. There we go. Pinned. Gonna pin it for 20 minutes, I guess. I didn't know that was a thing I could actually pin, so that is pretty pog. All right, so I have to pick words that I think the girl of my dreams will like. Well, I feel like agonizing, Monica cannot be here as you, as you say it. Uh, she is completely not accept, oh, okay. Well then, if based on who I have accessible to me, uh, I'm going to go with Yuri because she's she's uh, my second best waifu. If that's if that's how we're handling things by waifu, um, she likes depth and and all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna go with agonizing. Um, agonizing. Horrible and complicated words. Exactly. Agonizing. Melancholy. Oh, she loved it. Shopping. Fickle. Whistle. Sunny. Ch swimsuit. <laughs> Nani. Swimsuit. I don't care. She found it cute. Whatever. Grief. Treasure. I thought that said poop. Captive. Poof. Kitty. Smile. Pleasure. Charm. Kuei. Unrestrained. Incapable, question, cheer, love, wrath, hopeless, incongruent, playground, Carol. promise. <laughs> what was that? Extreme! Lucky, judgment, flee, anxiety. Is this gonna be like some fucking beat poetry? I'm gonna be like, melancholy, swimsuit. Anxiety. It's like, oh my god. Childhood. Tenacious. Giggle. Al alone. Oh, really? Really? Interesting. Alone. Unending. Okay. I figured alone would be her. Fantasy. What? Hold on. Hold on. You're telling me that Yuri, who very clearly said fantasy worlds. I choose fantasy and it goes to Natsuki. That don't make no sense. Horror! Horror survey says... Yuri. Vanilla. Despise. Melody. Scars. Heartbeat. Valentine. 
wonderful vacation. Uh, Burping. Um, hmm. Let's go with despise. Okay. I don't know if you guys want... I had to pick Doki Doki. How could I not pick Doki? It's Doki Doki Literature Club. I had to pick Doki Doki. Okay, I'm sorry. That's just for that one. Right now, it's going to be a very weird poem that's mainly aimed at these two and very, very slightly at Sayori. Um... Hmm... Fear. Really? Alone and fear? Why? I really... Okay, so... I know I turned it down at one point, but now I feel like it's too flippin' quiet because I can barely hear the sounds half the time. So give me one second. I'm gonna go into Blurp. And I'm gonna configure Blurp for a moment. Because I can barely hear the sounds. Yes, continue with Twitch. Doom, doom, beam, doom, 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 beam, boom, boom, beam, doom, 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 beam, boom, boom, beam, doom, 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 beam. All right, that's better. We'll put it there. We'll see how that do for a little bit. Even death, suicide, and or and other go to Yuri. Huh. Interesting. So I was gonna pick um I was gonna pick scars, and now I kinda feel like that might go to her. Disown? I wanna see something. Disown. Oh no, disown? I thought maybe disown might go over there. Nightgown. Intellectual intellectual. Yeah. Depression. Really? So she's... What about a tone? Okay, so a tone's over here. So it, there's a very fine line between the words that Yuri wants and the words that Sayori wants. Like, a very fine line. Because I would say things like depression and stuff like that you know, would be very clear here, but like alone and stuff like that, you think would be similar, but there's just that little bit of difference. Um, adventure? Nope, that one's Sayori. I thought maybe with the fantasy world, maybe. Um, feather, oh, this is our last word. Feather, memories, no, I'm not picking sadness. Um, did, mm, mm, breathe? Oh, it's coming. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's a fart right in my ear. The first ever clipped fart. I'm gonna go with breathe. Nicely done, Dark Shadow. Hi again, Taco. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least kept my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Taco. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? Oh, come on! Like, he deserves any slack! Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously... Then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monini ni monini ni monini Doki Doki do Tokito Doki Doki do Tokito Monika and Manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Taco always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without even me asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room, manga. It's called hentai and it's art. Oh, an ad starts in six seconds. Um, that's the same voice 
that Danny sex bang used for Sayori? Is that what you're trying to tell me, Steel Viper? Are you trying to say right now that I am coincidentally did for that character? How you doing? How you doing, Mikey? What's funny is... Kate said that earlier. <laughs> So that that is that is ironic, that literally the first thing you come in, uh, and that's what you say. I am I am well. It's going well so far. Um, I've been trying to, also like Mike and I watch the play. Almost, it's almost like that. Um, but I've been trying to uh, respect the ad breaks. So, because there's a lot of people who are very interested about the gameplay and stuff. Um, in the conversation regarding the gameplay. So whenever a, an ad has been hitting, I've been trying to just take a quick break just to be like, talk to chat, just be like, hey, yo, what's up? Just chilling, vibing. I'm over here still drinking my Not Your Father's Root Beer. Only two ads, that's better than four anyway. Really? Well, that was quick. I know that I tried to get it set up that the ads would like I said would hopefully not do the pre-rolls so I think the pre-roll ads are gone but they're supposed to run like every 15 minutes or so um it's still how you generate like the revenue from it but it, it, it's supposed to be not as invasive for the viewers because a lot more people are more likely to stay and watch a stream when they're not hit with an ad immediately or if you have an ad blocker i guess it doesn't fucking matter uh yeah not your father's root beer have you seen those the the, the alcoholic sodas i believe they have i want to say root beer cream soda orange soda or orange cream soda and something else i want to say like black cherry cola or something like that They're okay. They're not my favorite. They're a little syrupy. Um, but they're not bad. You probably saw them at Wegmans. If you didn't, I would be surprised. Because they, they're a pretty popular thing. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost said... <clears throat> and you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Do we have... Do we have a yandere? Is Yuri a yandere? Yandere. Natsuki sundere. Uh-oh. I'm getting... I'm getting vibes. I'm getting vibes from people. How come? You and Taco can become good friends, too. Um... Sayori? Hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, yeah. Don't go make... Don't be jealous. We won't be friends. Don't go making these girls jealous. Interesting. Back to back, don't be making people jealous. Oh, oh... Yuri even brought you something today, you know? W w wait Sayori? Eh? M me Um, not really. Don't be shy. I it's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sayori made it sound like it was a big deal. It's really not. Uh. Oh, what do I do? Eh? I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy, no matter what. Is that a crying fall guy? Fall cry. <laughs> is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. 
Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. Gonna make it the biggest of deals right now. Oh my god, it's a book! <laughs> you know, you know what he means by hanging out. Unga unga. What the fuck is unga unga? And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Th this, this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. Give me one second, everybody. There we go. I'm thinking about something else than what you think. It's hop on pop. It's a short read, you know, because you read picture books. Oof. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. It's called Literature Clubs for Dummies. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah, uh, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes meet for a split second. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, uh, how come you have two copies of the same book? Uh... Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. I keep a second copy of every book I own, just in case. You know, it's one of those things, what if I have a house fire? If one of my books catches on fire, I want to make sure I have a second copy. So that the house will indeed then burn down so there's more kindling. It's more of an insurance fraud type of thing, um, but it might work. I don't know yet. Do I have two dogs, so if I can get out with one, at least. Is that so? What's it about, anyway? Well, um... Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. That's why the second book is kept in a fireproof safe in a storage locker at a separate location. I keep it in the same lockbox as the internet. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. All right. I just wanted to make sure I didn't accidentally give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long-lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. I keep waiting for this to turn into fucking Link music. Do 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 do
Her life got flipped, turned upside down. She'd like to take a minute to sit right there and tell you all about how she became Yuri from Nagasaki. Or something. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationship, and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of spoiling the whole book. It's kind of dark, isn't it? Mine is in my grandma's pocket. She's buried, by the way. Hey, whatever keeps it safe, you know what I'm saying? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Taco? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy some of those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kind of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. She loves tentacles. She's a huge Cthulhu fan. Then suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist... They're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm... I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writings fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking to- Okie dokie! It is called, Notice Me Senpai, Notice Me. I don't desecrate her tomb, right? I mean, if you end up needing it, um, desecrate her tomb. Am I at the beginning of the game? Yes, I'm basically on the second day. This is uh, my like second day in the the uh, literature club. We wrote our poem last night. Uh, we still haven't even discussed our poetry yet. Um, Okie dokie dokie literature club. Oh my god, my poor tongue is failing me. My vocal cords are failing me. My face is failing me. Because of the 69? Is that why? Do you like... Do you... Nice. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Uh... That's... Well, that's true. In fact... I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. Uh, what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? A literature club... A literature, a literature club should be all about the writing of literature. Now hold on. A literature club should be all about the appreciation of literature club. Dude, my protruding pecker shot is on point. Um, also, by the way, I, I mean, I know you haven't been, like, at your parents' home for a while. Um, yeah, this is my first time playing it. I have, I have no, like, you know, thus far there's been no spoilers from anybody in chat, which has been nice, and I know a lot of people have wanted me to play this game. Um, because I know this game, uh, I've never looked at it. I've never looked at the spoilers. I've never looked at the themes. I've never looked at the actual story. I just know that this game has its, uh, notorious, uh, um, 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 uh, uh, my brain is dying. I apologize. 
I actually saw an article the other day that's, and I didn't read it because I didn't want to find out what terrible disease I have or what like dementia forming problem I have. But apparently when you forget words that you know, there it, it's associated with some sort of degenerative issue. And I'm like, I don't need to know about that. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just put that in my back pocket and worry about that tomorrow where I usually forget about it by then. And then I see the article again and I say, well, I'm going to not worry about it. And then just, it, have you seen the movie? Um, um, shit. What was that movie called? Nope. It's gone. It's gone. Uh, it, it was a Guy Pierce movie. The guy has no short-term memory or no long... Memento, thank you. So he has to keep jotting down all these notes and shit. And he has all these tattoos so he doesn't forget, like, people he loves and, and people that do him wrong and shit like that. Very fascinating movie if you've never seen it. Look it up. Uh, the only reason I watched it was because I was on a Matrix kick. And it has, like, I want to say, like, three or four actors from the Matrix in it. Um, so that's why I watched it, and it ended up being a very good movie. Um, but I know this game has, like, the notorious reputation of, like, you're given with this, like, cute dating simulator thing up front with, you know, these four very cute girls, and then at some point the game goes, oh, hey, uh, by the way, were you prepared for things that we clearly had to put a trigger warning for at the beginning of the game? And it's like, oh, all right, let's go. Uh, F's in chat for my psyche, or F1s, whatever you prefer. But thank you, thank you, Kate, for knowing Memento for me. I appreciate that. I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. All right. I open the book and start the prologue. It was the best of times. It was the blurst of times. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. <laughs> Let's get close. Let's sit as close as we can. Let's get it on. Uh, what is Omori? Who wrote that? 50 Monkeys? One of them's got to write the next great American novel. As as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Omori is a psychological horror RPG similar to Undertale. Interesting. I am, I, I am familiar with Undertale. I'm familiar... I have not played Undertale. I have not played Deltarune. Uh, but I have not heard of... Oh wait, Omori! I think... No, I think I have seen that before. Um, I'm going to actually Google it real quick because if it's the one I think it is, I think I may have seen that like a while. But I ha OK, yeah, I am familiar with that. I've never played it. I've seen um, like images and stuff for it. I think I even watched like a, tr a game trailer for it. But no, I have not played it. But thank you for bringing it back to my memory. She's just resting her chin on his head and reading that way. She's slowly just scaling onto my lap. I, I, I do? I don't really mean to. You've not played Undertale. Damn, if you're looking for difficulty, well, you know what to play. You should definitely play it after Doki Doki. I will look into it. Um, Is it on Steam or something, I'm assuming? I... Thank you, thank you. Uh, I, I, I want to say that's Gmod69. I know it's not, but it's what I want to say. Go, go, go Maryland. Go Maryland69. $20 on Steam. That's respectable. That's not a terrible price. Um, I don't know. Undertale just got so memed so fast that I just kind of didn't take Undertale as a serious game. Uh, ad starts in 20 seconds. Um, so we'll, we'll have it. We'll have a, a not very deep conversation, and then we'll just we'll just chat a little bit um, before we go into this girl slowly trying to 
join through me in osmosis in reading this book. That's the thing, right? Or is osmosis the separation? I can't remember. No, osmo you can learn things through osmosis where you just kind of absorb the 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 knowledge somehow. I think I'm thinking I'm using the right word. I'm not good with words. Osmosis is touch. Osmosis is Jones. Like touch absorption thingy. Okay, so I did have it. I did have it right. I just had to make sure I, I remembered the correct word. Don't be confused. If you're confused, then I'm confused. That's what's really important. Um, some people call it statutory. I call it mandatory. Kid Rock, you're a legend. Is that really in the Osmosis Jones film? Like, is that really... Like, I haven't watched Osmosis Jones in years, and I just kept seeing that meme that apparently while Osmosis Jones and, and the pill are going through the inside of the body, I believe Bill Murray, if memory serves, uh, there's a Kid Rock concert, and he's talking about how he wants to, to, to have relations with uh, the, the, the girls of a, a non-consenting age. I'm like, I don't remember that from the movie. I think I would, but I just don't. Especially since I'm pretty sure it was a PG movie, but, uh, you know, maybe that one slipped by the people watching it. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Oh my god, like right out the gate, my dude's like, and score. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, to hold the book open. Best girl is easily Sayori. Um, I got, I got asked that question very early. I have, I have almost no exposure to these four girls. Um, there goes my lizard, losing his mind again. Yeah, you see your reflection, don't you? So, I have a bearded dragon, and... Listen, listen, to be honest, and I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with you, um, I had kind of planned on switching over to my movie at this point, um, but I'm gonna go a little bit longer with the game, because I keep getting sidetracked. Um, but I have, a, I have a bearded dragon, and they're not exactly the most um, communal creatures, from what I understand. So I think he's seeing his reflection in the tank and losing his mind every night. But uh, Mo Monica, 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 I don't know how to... I'm, I'm assuming if they're trying to make it like Japanese, it's probably Monica, because you're pronouncing like almost every single letter there. Uh, she's, she's best girl to me so far. Uh, Yuri's kind of like second place. But like I said, I don't have much exposure to any of the girls yet, so I'm trying to figure it out. Working and moving make a... Working and the moving make me very tired. Ah! It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book open between her thumb and forefinger. Ah, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. Monica. I'm going to sleep or I will not be able to take it. <laughs> Listen, you're going to have to sleep. It's okay. I'm going to go. I'm probably going to go till either the next, like the end of this segment or 1030, whichever happens first or 27 minutes from now, roughly a half hour from now. That way, I turn a page, and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. But thank you for the follow, Dark Shadow. Uh, I'll probably be playing this... I want to say I'm probably going to play this uh, on Fridays until we beat it. Um, that'll give me, or Fridays, god damn it, it's Saturday. 
it's Saturday, or it's Sunday if you're Dark Shadow, um, or it's the year 2053 for other people, or something, I forget the exact year. Um, but I might play this for Saturday anime for a little bit, or I might make it like every other day, or every other week, we'll see. Um, but I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna play it for a while. I'm, I've, it's something that I do want to actually finish. Oh my god. It's around six hours? Oh good, that should take me about 14 to finish then. Are you ready? Eh? To turn the page. Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's okay. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. I want to see you when you hang out with the girls. Not going to miss that. Well, if you follow when you got notifications on, and I don't know if it still works or if you're even one of those people that do it, um, but there's there's the Discord. I'm pretty good at announcing when I'm going to go live there. Um, this, like I said, will most likely be a Saturday or a Sunday night game, Sunday morning game for you, however you want to look at it. Um, but yeah, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays, my main streaming schedule. Uh, possible Mondays coming up, but that's, uh, we'll see. We'll see. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri? This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses all the things that she says and does. Like, she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything. But they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. I see. Yuri remains silent for a moment. But Taco... That's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Um, that's so embarrassing that you think that. But wait, I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing. Girls love when you analyze them the second day you know them. I know, right? I lo Every woman that I meet, I try to analyze them on the spot and be like, daddy issues, whore, independent woman internalized misogyny and my mom's like can you please stop that <laughs> sorry sorry <laughs> it's not often not often I make myself pop like that but I couldn't help it I do not intend... In fact, it's... Wait, I thought that said slap for a second. I literally cannot read tonight. No, it's not... It's not... I can't even skip it. Plus, it's not on, like, auto. I control the horizontal. I control the vertical. Or whatever was in the outer limits. I guess I more meant that it's kind of cute. Ugh. What are you saying all of a sudden? Okay, everyone. I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. <gasps> this is what I've been waiting for. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Uh, Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Oh, uh, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of her thumb. Or my thumb, in fact. Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? 
Um, I, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. All right. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. You love this part of the game? Thus far, I'm really enjoying it. Like, it's very well written. I think there's only been, like, one small, like, grammatical error. And my brain couldn't read it anyway, so it was fine. And like I said, it, it, it's, it's got cute girls. If, if a game has cute anime girls in it, I'm already willing to cut that game a ton of slack. Because if you've got cute anime girls, I'll be there. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I like the game even before the game gets quote-unquote good. I like the game as it keeps using a very small snippet of Legend of Zelda sound. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica, 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 we're going with Monica, enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reluctantly crouched at the reading line, hearts thumping and bumping in time. That is how it's pronounced. But I've assumed it was probably Monica, but I was going with like the idea of like a Japanese way it would be done. Cause like the I should technically be like the E sound, but it's neither here nor there. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Clearly Yuri. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair, based on what I barely know of her. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Uh, what, what was that? D did I say that out loud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I, uh, he's going to hate me. Um... You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? For my googling, your original pronunciation is correct. What's going on? I don't understand. I'm going to call her club president and not give her a name. I'm going to reduce her to her title only. Uh-huh. Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. That is, this is actually my uh, first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Monika is kind of an epic NPC, to be honest. Her personality is club president. I feel it. I feel it exuding from her. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her fingers along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form-fit the two together. 
The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but putting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Bias? How? Um, well, never mind. I, I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? I hated Natsuki in my first playthrough, but grew to like her a lot more. Natsuki, I'm getting that, like, like very big tsundere vibes. Like, she's, she's, you know, she's the youngest of the group. Um, she seems to be, just, this is my initial impressions. She's more childlike. Um, so I could see her being viewed as more annoying than the other two. Ghost under the light. The tendrils, mm -hmm, tentacles, we're right back to it, of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Click outside poem area to continue. Uh, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read it. Ah, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it's really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you in a ghost, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Taco. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. Keep in mind, all the poems have a deep meaning to the game and the plot of it. I kind of assumed as much. Um, that's something that Dark Shadow was kind of explaining with, like, trying to craft the poem. If you wanted to specifically aim the poem at a, a particular person. And since I couldn't aim it at Monika, I was aiming it at Yuri. So that's why she kind of, like, was like, ah, perked up. I only got a few hits um, for Sayori. And then a couple of choice words for Natsuki. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Oh, let him be mad. Uh-oh. Okay. If you oh. avoid some characters, they will get mad at you. I believe it. Um, The one that I think I'm most afraid of getting mad uh, is Yuri. Uh, because... 
So from Natsuki, I was getting the uh, Sundere vibes, but from Yuri, I'm getting Yandere vibes. I also have an ad starting. Um, so it looks like we are getting kind of close to the end of this segment. I know I'm dragging it out a little bit each time. Um, okay, it says ad starting soon, so we're good. We're going to click a little bit. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. Oh, now the ad is going. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like we're getting close to the end of this segment. Um, so I think when we do hit, like, the third day or the next day or whatever way this segment most naturally ends, um, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to Robot Carnival, and that will also give me the opportunity to, uh, go get some Wawa. Not the gas station, uh, but some actual water, because I do be thirsty. I know, I know, everybody out here is getting the ads, and I apologize. Um, brother, brother's gotta make some money, you know what I'm saying? But that, that's why, that's why I'm on, that's why I'm trying, at least for tonight, um, specifically. Because this is a, this is a far easier game for me to, like, take a quick break from. Uh, usually if I'm playing more, like, Super Nintendo or more action-based games, it's a little more difficult for me to be able to stop and just take time to talk to everybody. Golly gee willikers. My farts are, are just... Off the chisel to nizzle. I, I just see, like, add fart, like, every single second here. Ah. Me too. Who should I show my poem to next? Monica! Hi, Taco. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Taco. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Taco. I was going, oh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's uh, easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. Oh my god, that's, that's literally why this is a thing. Baby, oh baby. Prepare for disappointment. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know, that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. 
So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction. See the direction the sparkle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas, already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. This poem brought to you by every glory hole at your local truck stop. So... What do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis, emphasis on the wrong syllable. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure how to put it. I guess you could say I've had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit, Bukaki. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. God damn, that's like speaking to my soul. <laughs> there's, there's this book that I wrote like forever ago. I had 500... I've told the story on stream a few times. But I had like 500 unedited um, pages I, and my mom deleted it off the computer and I never took the time to rewrite it. And then I started trying to rewrite it not too long ago and then I got, I got stuck because there's this one particular point that I want to write about because it's in my head but I can't figure out how to get there and it's just... <clears throat> And that, that speaks to me. That speaks to me on a visceral level. So thank you, Monica. Thank you. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Uh, who should I show my poem to next? Sayori, she's gonna love it. This is a good poem, Taco. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Well, I've, out the gate, she's, she's helping me in my personal life and she doesn't even know it. So, I mean, good for her. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. 
See? It's like I said before, Taco. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much time it means to her, how much this means to her, where the hell did I get time? Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Sayori. This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No! I just... a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially the last line. I made eggs and toast! Even though you were late to school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this is so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. I guess I have to show it to Natsuki now. Taco, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. W what? Harsh. She does write the best poem ever. Uh, who, Natsuki or Sayori? She's gonna be pissed she's last. What? You expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. Her poem is cake, 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 cake. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Painful to think about? Fine. Well, sorry. She's because uh, because you didn't write much that would appeal to her. Listen, I wrote, I, I chose Doki Doki and Swimsuit, okay? That's all, I, that's all I chose that appealed to her, I think. You'll get better anyway. I'll tell you what to improve. You're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Also, Dingo's playing Baldur's Gate 3. Which, by the way, I also have a Baldur's Gate 3. And I almost played that tonight. I was just going to make, like, a waifu. But I was like, no, no, no. I'll play an actual game with anime shit. Anyway, I guess I got to share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Um, 10 out of 10, best poem, would read again. Yeah, I told you you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? J just be honest. I am. 
Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well... Because... Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Oh, that's an interesting way of putting all of that stuff then. And people can try and that's about... Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I, that's what I just said. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in that last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Why am I making her sound like a witch? <laughs> yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Phew. She's supposedly 18? And she's the... What are these kids in cram school? I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. Hi, Sai. She looks like she's 12. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monika are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. She, she's the lolly of the group. She, she's the most mature one. And I'm, I'm still sticking with uh, uh, Sundre Yandere. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, oh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant... the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it didn't really come out nice at all. Um... Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. And Taco did, too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. And Taco liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh! I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not what I... Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Taco appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... 
No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Um, is everyone okay? Yo, know, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew up a size bigger as soon as Taco started showing up. N Natsuke? Um, Natsuke, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Taco? She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out at the reader, not forcing that to figure it out. Oh, I thought it was at is starting soon. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. 26 seconds. I'm going a little bit longer, but I, I do want to reach the end of the scene. And I don't think... I don't think Robot Carnival is terribly long. Yeah, it's an hour and a half, so... We're fine. We've got all the time in the world. Alright, give me... Give me... Six, five, four, three, two... One ads uh, ooh, longer in progress. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you enjoy your ads. Go out and buy that stuff. It does not support the stream in any way, shape, or form. Help me explain that to her, Taco. W wait, Th there's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning them most effectively. Avoiding them is not unnecessarily limiting yourself. It's also a waste. You understand that, right, Taco? Um... Well? Oh, jeez. I get to choose. What a pog champ. How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Hmm. This is the safe option. But guess what, Natsuki? Suck a dick! Natsuki, you're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Um... I understand. Yuri? Eh? You're a seriously talented writer. No, you should have chosen Sayori. You missed the best line in the game. Well, I can replay it in my free time and see the best line in the game. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... Uh, go, man. Uh. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think that you should too? Mm. Natsuki clenches her fists. In the end, nobody has taken her side. Oh, 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 oof. She's trapped, at this point being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Um... Sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayori, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'll spare me. It'll spare. You know what? I don't even. I can't even talk right now. You fucking bitches. You're just a bunch of bitches in this room. And Taka's the biggest bitch here. 
Without warning, Natsuki snatches up her poem from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in- Oh god, that kind of hurts. She throws it in the trash. Natsuki? She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. <sighs> Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. Oh, Yuri. How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, all right, I believe you. But my Tommy gun don't! Thanks, Taco, you're too kind. I'm thankful to have you a part of this club now. Uh, it's, it's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So, eh? Oh. What thing did Natsuki say? Get down on your knees and tell me you loved my poem. Um, well, never mind that. I'm, I'm going to make, go make some tea. Ah, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Y yeah. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun! Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Taco, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about it with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same- Oh, no. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a lot more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With a, with a, with a little luck and a little spit... Wait, that's the wrong book. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Taco! Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori, what about what happened earlier? Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki? Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Taco, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Boom boom tis tick 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 tis. 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 Well, we have another poem to write, um, and I think that's where we'll kick off next time. Uh, we'll 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 kick off with the poem writing. Um, thank you, I appreciate that. I I pride myself on my singing. 
I am a, a singing master. I used to do I used to do Twitch sings. Not that I'm a particularly good singer, but I could carry my own in Karaoke Revolution, if anybody even remembers that game. Because I never really got into the singing part of either Rock Band or Guitar Hero when they did those. Um, but Karaoke Revolution, that was my jam. Um, but yeah, that's where we're going to go ahead and call it for... Uh, the Okie Dokie Doki Doki Literature Club for the night. I'm enjoying this game a whole hell of a lot. I know I didn't get particularly far. We're only on the third day. Um, but if it's a super short game as it is, I, I probably see us doing this for maybe three, four streams, realistically, because your boy gets sidetracked really super easily. Um, but what we're going to do, we're going to take a real quick break um, so that I can go use the facilities and we're going to switch over to boop, this everything is okie dokie and dokie dokie literature club <laughs> 